Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back once again, this time with a doll review. I wanted to get in some Barbie time because I haven't done a doll review ever since I did the unboxing of the United Colors of Benetton Kira, or Kyra, known by some people. So today we're gonna be reviewing and redressing Wedding Day Midge. I love this doll. I've always wanted her ever since I saw her on TV, not only with the commercials from Mattel, but also from the Home Shopping Network. I remember they sold the Wedding Day Midge gift set and, and included all these dolls you can see on the back of her box, which is, you know, Barbie the Bridesmaid, obviously Wedding Day Midge Bride, the groom, Alan, of course, and the best man, Ken. And not to forget Todd, the ring bearer, which I never got, and Kelly, flower girl. Now I have Alan, the groom, and I also have uh, Ken, the best man, but today I won't be showing Ken. I will be showing him, of course, also redressed. So, Barbie the bridesmaid, I didn't get, I replaced her with another Barbie doll because at the time I didn't really like the way she looked. I thought she was kind of blah for, you know, a Barbie doll, especially for my first, like, official Barbie doll. I didn't want to get her to be a part of the wedding party, so I ended up replacing her with another Barbie doll. Um, and I want to do a video of all of them and do, like, a whole wedding video with all their outfits on that they came with. Um... But yeah, just wanted to let you know that. I never had the doll, of course, when I was a kid. I wasn't allowed to play with Barbies, so. I mean, being a Spanish kid living in New Jersey, there was no way in hell that my dad was gonna let me have a Barbie doll, so there's that. I remember trying to beg my mother to get it when it was on the Home Shopping Network, but it never happened, of course, so. That is the back of the box, and this is the front of the box. Nothing special here. As you can see, she's been removed. She's been redressed. I don't even know how many times. She comes with this additional outfit, which I'll show you. This is the full skirt, the bridal skirt. I'm not gonna take it out of box right now. It also comes with the wedding garter, I believe, which is a garter toss thing, which is apparently um, a symbol of like a bride losing her virginity, which is like, okay, wow, I never knew that. I just knew that that was a symbolism of something blue, which I don't even know what that stands for. I'm guessing it's like good luck with your marital status. Um, but I like this whole white picket fence with the arch. Like I really wish that Mattel had produced something like this. I know they have like a, a wedding day chapel, but they don't have the actual Thing that they show on the back like the place that it would have been really nice especially with these like beautiful cherubs and this whole floral decoration here it's just awesome but back again sorry my music paused for some reason on YouTube because they wanted to add an ad of course which is really annoying I don't plan on ever having ads on any of my videos by the way i'm an adult collector and this video is geared more towards other adult collectors just like me so i can't be excused for any words that may slip out that are adult oriented so just wanted to point that out but once again yes this is a video for adults and adult collectors and i have her redressed in her wedding day honeymoon outfit I want to say definitely like this very nice sexy yet pretty and cute as well as a little modest I love it um, there's like this like lacy trim and this is definitely one of her original outfits that is specifically made for wedding day image and I love it she comes with like these little panties and there's like this like rainbow colored lace you see like the, the blue trim, pink, yellow, green. 
I love it. And then like the background has like, I remember like lingerie used to have this. I don't know if they still do, but back in like the 90s, late 80s, it was like leafy flower petals on the satin. So I think that this, this is what the material is. It's like a satiny material, which I like. Of course, I love her red hair. She's one of the very first Barbies I ever bought in my life. It's not the best looking right now because she was in the box for so long. I mean, Christ, I think she's from like, what, 1991? Is that what her box date reads? Uh, 1990. So there you have it. But I love her star spangled eyes. That's what I normally call it. Absolutely love her eyes. They're kind of like a green and purple. I love her lips. She just has like the prettiest detail. When I saw this doll, I just, I had to have her. Of course, it's been many years later, but. So yeah, I had a summer party theme going with all my dolls and I redressed them in like lingerie and like, you know, their pajamas and panties and bras and all that good stuff. And that's why she's redressed as such. So I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna redress her and then I'll introduce you to her other dolls. And I'll be right back. Sorry, before I redress her, I wanted to show you a few different things. This is what the outfit looks like without the robe portion. And it has a camisole that goes along with the, the lingerie. Again, this is like the honeymoon outfit. Now, when I got Midge, what really upset me and pissed me off was her head was attached by like some plastic thing to keep the veil on, which she also comes with. I won't show you in this video, but another. And I had to like cut it out of her head. It was really difficult and a pain to get off. And it upset me. Like I've never had to deal with that before. But then again, I just started doll collecting when I first bought this. Like I've only been collecting for three years now. So that was frustrating. And I like to keep her in a stand with this outfit only because look how the panties kind of scrunch up a bit. It's not very like appealing for some reason. Also, another thing, she's she's coming up with all these different elements ever since I took her out of box and I've adjusted her a couple of times. Now she has like these hairline cracks, which I've never seen on a doll before, but in the one outfit she had on, she had to wear these like gloves, which were kind of tight, and I had to squeeze her hand through it. And out came these cracks, which, you know, I've never seen before. Have you collectors ever dealt with that before as far as, like, collecting? Because I never have. I've never seen it until this doll. But, yeah, she has, she has cracks all of a sudden. I don't know if you could see that very well on her hand. So, unfortunately, I'm afraid where her ring is. That's where she's cracking. Also, she's getting this weird waxy peel from her legs like what's the deal with that like has that happened with any of your dolls i've never seen that in my life excuse the dust she was on display in my room and unfortunately i don't dust so yes she has a little dust on her this is the sort of like a jacket or more like a robe and look, look at all the really pretty, like, rainbow-like pastel colors. I just love the detail. And, of course, it has the, the genuine Barbie tag on the inside, on the right. And this is the back of it. Also, she comes with a bouquet, which has, like, a, like a wiring thing that she could hold, actually hold the bouquet while she's, like, going down the aisle. I love it. Just, just that attention and detail. Um, and I remember seeing like stuff like this in actual weddings, like the little flowers and the leaves made of like a cotton satin material and then there's like a pink ribbon attached to it. So, 
All right, just wanted to show you that, and I'll be back to all dressed up in another outfit. So this is her all dressed up, and the picnic pretty Barbie fashion, I believe. Pretty picnic or picnic pretty, one or the other. I just looked it up and I already forgot, but it's like an aqua green dress. And it has gingham on the top of it, as you can see around the bodice. And the neckline, very pretty. Not plaid, but gingham. And then here are, there's like this doily like trim. It's not lace, it's actually like a, I don't know, sort of like a thread or a cotton. I, I'm not sure about like material as far as like that's concerned. The only qualm I have about this outfit is that it's Velcro in the back, which irritates the heck out of me because not only does it snag long Barbie hair, but it's just doesn't look that great. It actually pops up a little bit. I wish that they just kind of like did a button on the back of it rather than do that. So as you can see, I left her panties on because they were really hard to get off. I swear, like with this doll in particular, I feel like they gave her bigger hips and a bigger bust. And I don't know if it's because, you know, she's a wedding doll, she's a bride. So, you know, maybe child birthing hips like <laughs> I know that that's probably inappropriate or you know not exactly the best content in the world but who knows like maybe they actually thought of that when they made this this doll like big hips big bust line like I feel like they're bigger than the most Barbies even though they're supposed to have like the same Barbie body so I the outfit comes with white tennis shoes, as you can see. But I love this color on her because of the red hair, the Titian hair. Love it. And this is like a little jacket that you can put on her. And it has a little tie on the front, which I thought you had to tie or untie. But that wasn't the case at all. Like, it's actually put together with a little Velcro, Velcro square, which is kind of unique. Like, I, I don't see that often. Like, if they have to do Velcro, I, sh I, th I should think that they would do this all the time, especially with the backs of dresses, but of course, it's not the best. And of course, it has the daily tr daisy trim on the around the neckline and around the arms again. Which kind of looks like, you know, like those grandma doilies you would see, like, on the side tables. And I'm going to show it to you with it on. So, back again, and here she is for final looks. Looks like it's tied up a little bit. Again, she's pretty busty, so I had to make it look like... It was tied when you tie it. And this is the back with the aqua green gingham. I love it. Very cute outfit. And she's ready for a picnic. Although, she's missing her picnic basket that she came with, her outfit. Oh, wait. What's this? It's Alan. And look what he's bringing her the picnic basket complete with her food. Now, this didn't come with... Yeah, um, the food didn't come with the outfit. This did. You had to put the basket together, like the handle, you had to punch it through these little plastic holes. And it also had these really pretty purple plates. Just super cute, I should say, not pretty. Although it kind of got a little stickiness from the back of it. That's why you can, if you can kind of see it, it's shiny. I never cleaned them off. Little bottle of juice or soda. And you have your little picnic sandwich. Little wedge sandwiches. And a croissant. 
and it also has a little gingham cloth that it came with. But again, this doesn't come with the bottle or the food. That's just my addition to it. And this is Alan, also redressed. He's my first Ken crush, but don't tell Ken that. <laughs> but I fell in love with him instantly when I got him. I got these in a lot of two. And it was $50 just for two of these dolls, and I absolutely love them. He can usually stand by himself, but as you see, I'm struggling to keep him up because not only do I not have a stand for Ken, but these sneakers don't help me keep him up. So this outfit comes with these tennis sneakers. I want to say it's Ken on the go fashion, but I could be mistaken. It's like this really cool golf polo kind of like a polyester material with a button on the neckline and a collar. I love the collar. Very cute. And it looks like really nice on his chest. But yeah, I gotta say Alan is my first Ken doll crush. And I, I believe that this head mold is strictly Alan's normally. So he has like this really cool swivel neck, which most Ken dolls don't come with, and I prefer these because you can give them more of an expression, I, I guess. But this is Wedding Day Alan. And the back is Velcro, unfortunately, yet again, along with the shorts. Which are more like a plaid instead of a, a gingham. So they kind of match, which is, you know, that was the whole idea, but not too ridiculously matched. Maybe the tennis sneakers and, of course, the plaid and the gingham, but... I like this outfit on him very much. So, there you have it. I really hope you like this video. There's a lot of content in it, unfortunately. I was hoping that it was gonna be a little shorter this time around. Um, but as you can see, Minge is one of my favorite dolls. I've dressed her in so many fashions, and this is another outfit that the bride-to-be came with. So, it's a white slip-on dress which takes a while to get over her legs and hips again. Um, there's no Velcro or anything. You just sort of like slip it on from the feet up. And then this is supposed to be like the after party or what do they call it on the box? It's a honeymoon outfit. So this goes over yet again, another honeymoon outfit, which I have all of them. I also have those in a lot, and I got them really cheap because I it, I won the auction, so that was pretty exciting. But there you have it, Wedding Day Alan and Wedding Day Midge. Hope you liked my video, and hope to see you again soon. Bye.